in the region which Sorry. countries Ghana Ghana, Ghana. Ghana. Mauritania is a major our strongest areas okay uh, Morocco we have uh, office also in Morocco we have by the way these are we have offices also there Morocco. we have societies yeah Okay. Uh, we have also in all North African countries, Tunisia, mm -hmm. Tunisia, all these countries. But our most strength uh, areas that which I'm mentioning, Mauritania, Morocco, Ghana, Sudan. and Sudan. Interesting that you are deciding to come to this region. Yes. What inspires you to do that? No, uh, Rwanda is an inspiring story, mm? and I am looking now at. Uh, I was not coming for frankly to see. Yeah. I was not expecting to see poverty. Because mm. I thought that uh, you eliminated poverty already, mm. Mm. but when mm. I gone with him to the west, mm. uh, Sheikh Amr, east. Uh, Where east, did east, you go? Nyagatari. Ah, you went to Nyagatari. Mm. Yeah. But I seen poverty. Yeah. So <coughs> of course, there is still a lot of work mm. to do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But mm. I mean, your story as a woman related and and your, uh, you know, as emerging economy and what you did uh, relevant to Brazil. Because under inspiration economy. There are five economies. Mm -hmm. so maybe you'd be interested to. Yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> yes. All of them related to each other with what we call intrinsic economy. Interesting. Intrinsic power. Intrinsic power. It depends on inside, inside ah. the community, not outside. Ah, so you don't okay. ask people for help, mm. wait for fun. You are through, you're solving the problems from within. From within. Yeah. Okay. Inspiration economy, mm -hmm. resilience economy, mm -hmm. youth economy. Youth. Youth economy. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Future foresight economy, mm -hmm. which is foresighting the future and solving the economy, mm -hmm. economic problems. And last one, aging economy. Yes. Yeah. Economy. Yeah. So uh, these are very <coughs> relevant to each other. The second one, uh, inspiration economy, you know uh, now, well, as I told you, we find opportunities inside problems. That's inspiration economy. Mm -hmm. How to see opportunities and capture it inside mm -hmm. any problem. So the more you have problem, the more you have opportunities. Mm. That's yeah. number one. Absolutely. Yeah. I think our, our work has been very much based on the on solution searching and yeah. from within. Mm. So you are in the right place. Mm. Uh, because when we started this in 1997, mm. the whole purpose was to rebuild a new family. Mm. So our work mm. is very much family centered. Right. Right. And then from family centered is community. Mm. And again, uh, community networking as part of the power that mm -hmm. we want to give back to our communities to be able to solve such mm -hmm. uh, to live beyond what has happened mm -hmm. to them in the communities mm -hmm. so <clears throat> so the work is really very community grounded and it's um, it's very much based on women because we believe women and girls are the backbone of the economies and despite that at times you don't see them so we are kind of doing things to really trigger them, to make them uh, be understanding where this country has come from, where it is and where it wants to go. Yeah. And so that they don't, they are not left behind. Because the whole essence is to make sure that, um, like we keep saying in the SDGs and everything else, we talk about uh, making sure we are inclusive society, inclusive economy, and indeed Rwanda has chosen that. So in that whole process, um, uh, when we started, we, there were many studies that we did to really make sure that we have an approach that makes it work. So we made sure that um, uh, we focus on five areas of work. And uh, one major one, because at the time when we started, we thought that we need to focus on health, and especially looking at women's health, because we believe women's health is women's rights. Mm -hmm. And in that whole journey, that's how we see us having a, a, a health mm -hmm. clinic here. Mm -hmm. So we are building our work around looking at health beyond even clinical health. Mm -hmm. And that in itself, it means really empowering of women. Mm -hmm. Be able to search yourself, know where you want to go and how you want to achieve what you want to achieve. So in the health program, we now have a partnership with the Ministry of Health, and it's centered around community health workers, nutrition programs, economic programs, and at the same time emphasizing on home-based care. Mm -hmm. Because we are saying we need to be able to support our women who are aging and also women who are 
HIV positive. Mm. That's why we have a health center here. Mm. Most of our women were can raped during genocide and even the post genocide era. Mm. These are the women who still, you know. Mm. So by coming here and bringing uh, women closer to our services was a way to make sure that we are implementing the three key things of accessibility, affordability, and and <clears throat> and making sure that access is easy for women, mm. especially those who are HIV and AIDS, mm. you know, the retrovirals. Mm. So the health center program is centered around that. And of course, that has also helped us to develop a networking spirit and solidarity and caring spirit for our women. Mm. Because we know aging is tough and the final stages, you need families times and the times families are not there. So what happens? So by building solidarity networks around villages, it, for us it is it is really a plus for these women. So that's how the health center came into being. And uh, we have a youth center down there, which helps also bring some, those who come to health center here, have their youth who want to go through programs of uh, reproductive health programs. Mm. So they come here and meet regularly. Women come for the economic activities here. So we felt now as we are growing up as a networking organization, we need to reach out to districts. Mm. So what we have done in our reaching out program was to, now we are in 17 districts, and we are talking about reaching out in the same uh, spirit uh. of community-based, but also focusing to family, and also looking at the health, the economic of our women, and, uh, and so forth and so forth. So. <clears throat> The, so we, we designed a model of uh, safe spaces where we are talking about women's safety. And in women's safety, we are not trying to look at uh, safety we are talking about, but it's for women to go through their inner self mm. and be able to say in your inner self, this is who I am, this is what I would like to do in order to be able to get food on the table, to have a shelter of my own mm -hmm. and also to be able to send my children to school. Mm -hmm. So those safe spaces have given us a lot of perspectives. Mm -hmm. And we are encouraging our, our different uh, supporters to really make sure mm -hmm. that such a safe spaces are used as venues of safety for women and for women to scaling them up. Mm -hmm. Because once we've given you the knowledge, we expect you to, to, to re replicate. And in that replication journey, we want to be able to consolidate our network mm -hmm. and continue networking, bring learned lessons at the national level to be able to interact with other like-minded NGOs mm -hmm. and also interact with the policy makers. And that's why we have created what we call SDG 5 forum mm. where we meet twice a year but when there is a, an emergency we want to be able to discuss about an issue mm. <clears throat> we make sure we bring the issues at the national level and in our leadership program we are encouraging our women leaders who are leading into the safe spaces to be the ones at the table to be able to really bring the challenging issues they are faced within their communities and to be able to dialogue with the policy makers mm -hmm. on how they see solutions. Mm -hmm. So we've designed it in a such a way that women no longer feel intimidated by policy makers. Mm -hmm. Because they we say, if you have a problem and you can't put it out there on the table mm -hmm. to somebody who does design a policy for you, mm -hmm. then you will lose out. So we've designed several programs that allows them to interact even at the district level of governance program, governance and leadership, which really brings them at the community level uh, to be able also to be for offices. We have several women who came through the spaces who are now into the district leadership, and some of them have even come up to the uh, parliamentarian level. Mm -hmm. And so by creating that micro space of SDG 5, it's also to allow them to continue to interact with the other like-minded women who came from below to the other national spaces 
to be able to remind them about the accountability mm -hmm. because we believe accountability is key mm -hmm. so for us the strength we want to see in people like you bringing such a programs i like the idea of 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 scaling up of of helping bottom trigger up, bottom up, trigger yeah. them up to do yeah. things because we have women who are doing <coughs> some economic uh, programs such a women need to be you know we have several other women who are still at the level of giving each other money and we wanted to, to graduate them from vsls voluntary saving loans to another level and then to eventually cooperative to be very honest our dream is to make sure that we have got our own SACO, women's SACO, uh, Rwanda Women's Network constituency, mm -hmm. SACO, because SACO means SACO, these savings, loans, and uh, okay, huh. <clears throat> yeah, mm -hmm. because for them, if when we encourage them to go to different SACOs, mm -hmm. they have a very bad history mm -hmm. of hearing the money has been laundered and mm -hmm. saying, Why are we moving our money from the level we are? Because at this level, it has helped us to feel connected, mm -hmm. solidarity among ourselves in our community. Mm -hmm. So, and if it's going to be managed by someone else, how are we sure we can trust this person? Mm -hmm. Of course, we want them to continue to grow, mm -hmm. to continue to take up uh, that leadership, but we want the ownership to remain. Mm -hmm. Because for, mm -hmm. for us, ownership is key. So really, more or less, it's by helping to trigger more and also supporting the the minimum to aspire mm -hmm. because inspiration is what is key mm -hmm. already there are those who have they have already to come to the space you know that we are going to you are coming to the space to be triggered mm -hmm. to also hear other people's experiences mm -hmm. it's a more of a healing space oh. it's a more of a, a, a space for planning mm -hmm. It's a more space to know what's happening around you, mm. your community, your family, your district, but also the nation, mm. as a nation, and be able to <coughs> position yourself. So when we teach them about positioning, when we talk to them about leadership, we are just reminding them that you also need to be at the table. So for us, it's that's the journey we are in. So we have several, you know, there's, it's a big, constituency and uh, we try to come together once a year at the end of the year to celebrate together to inspire each other at the national level where we invite media where we invite policy makers and um, we try to use other opportunities like um, you know awarding those who have been inspirational women leaders at the spaces mm -hmm. and and that keeps them alive mm -hmm. so for them we forget more support to be able to continue to aspire our spaces uh, economic small economic support for our women it will be will be will be growing so that's really where we are and uh, and um, i think it helps us Frankly, to I, I think me, uh, Dr. <coughs> and, and me we are very excited to uh, mm. to see you in mm. person okay. and uh, this uh, we are very lucky to have you uh, in this visit because this, uh, first of all, it's for us what uh, we've been trying to do. Mm. Uh, and uh, now we know why Rwanda is uh, yani creating numbers, yeah. different numbers than any other countries. Yeah. Uh, because they have women like you, frankly. I'm not mm. uh, yani praising you just like this, but frankly, whatever, whatever you said, because we are mm -hmm. into this business, and mm -hmm. we train many people around the world, yeah. especially mm -hmm. women, Mm -hmm. And we put national plan. So <coughs> we are running the national, our main, managing or supporting the national plan directly or indirectly. Mm -hmm. uh, and we know how much it is difficult. Yeah, it is. I'm appreciating that. I mm -hmm. believe that uh, we are very lucky to have any yeah, community. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I want to go maybe one more step here mm -hmm. and uh, dare to say that uh, and we are, will be very excited to work with you okay. and uh, to see how projects because. Uh, mm -hmm. Beside, I think you are doing also, of course, your own models here, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure in the villages also you are doing that. Yes, sure. uh, but I believe maybe our approach will add value and we'll learn from each other. Absolutely. I'll be, I, I need to be very humble yeah. uh, mm -hmm. because what you are doing is great. Mm -hmm. uh, but because we've been doing 
different approaches in different countries. Mm. Um, I'm sure even the Rwandan approach maybe will be our Rwandan approach will be different than mm. other approaches. Mm. Because uh, when I talk about Mauritania, mm-hmm. it is, uh, the, the basis of life is not there. There's no water, mm. and it's mm. totally desert. You know, mm. Sub-Saharan desert. Yes, yes, yeah. Area is very difficult. <coughs> when I talk about Ghana, also it's another. Even though it's emerging economy, still mm. you don't have the the you know the issues or facilities that you have here. Mm. Uh, by the way, and we are very keen into working with uh, uh, health-related issues sure. because uh, even though we did not work with AIDS, frankly, or HIV, mm. Mm. Uh, and I work as uh, expert for the government and mm. solving such problems, mm-hmm. but we focus a lot in NCDs. Mm-hmm. Non cover diseases. You see, that's what we and do. this is where the women is increasingly uh, uh, mm-hmm. all over the world. And here I can see it. Mm-hmm. I've seen it in his uh, organization. He worked with palliative care, Al Amal called organization. He works with mm-hmm. palliative. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. very important. Al Amal is mm-hmm. the name of their organization. Mm-hmm. I visited them. Mm-hmm. And most of the, what they are doing is the end of NCD, because mostly they are cancer patients. Yeah, exactly. But in, and we can see now even. We've been observing the last uh, uh, mm. 10 days or uh, 8 days here, we are here mm. is that uh, now the children are coming with NCDs they already uh, have obesity mm-hmm. they have uh, and for mm-hmm. sure they will have, mm-hmm. they continue I mean especially in Kigali mm-hmm. you can see the children uh, mm-hmm. either way mm-hmm. because the middle class is coming up a lot mm-hmm. so we can work a lot in that area with you Okay. because we did a lot mm-hmm. of work and mm-hmm. we have publication of case studies mm-hmm. we have 41 books about <coughs> you know what I'm telling you now mm-hmm. all is published in, and inside each book mm-hmm. there is case studies that mm-hmm. we are going to teach in the university and so on mm-hmm. so I'm sure that uh, we can approach can it from the uh, bit? very interesting eh? mm-hmm. when I hear talk about possible collaboration with the university yeah. here University of uh, Kigali mm-hmm. or even creating your own university mm-hmm. would be nice to hear how that links up with all this community-based empowerment of women mm-hmm. and any other yes. that is community-based. Uh, yes. That would be very interesting yes. to hear because um, we love to hear academic yes. thinking yeah. as well. Uh, mm-hmm. What is different about our programs that mm-hmm. it's applied programs. Right. So for instance, first it, it all it goes about multidisciplinary approach. Okay. So, I mean, we work in different specialty. For example, even me and Dr. Muhammad is What she husband. said, the key word here is multidisciplinary approach. Mm-hmm. For example, mm-hmm. I'm a social background, he's economy background, that's why we work in socioeconomic health. If you are going to see boards that we are working on, we have people from medical background, law background, policy background. Um, the advisory board, uh, she said. Advisory board. So, our programs based on multidisciplinary approach. So, that's that's why when we look at a problem, we are not looking for one speciality. Mm-hmm. This is one thing. And then when people go and it's, it's always complex problem, sorry, Doctor. <laughs> always complex problem need always uh, multidisciplinary Holis- approach. Holistic approach. Holistic approach. Yeah. That's why you went to the place where you found her. By the way, mm. I still need to know how you came to find us. <laughs> you know? This, uh, <laughs> in a way, we ask uh, Sheikh Amar, and we need to see the woman, r- the real women mm. who are changing the. Uh, situation in Rwanda so uh, to tell us how found so we came here family. to learn fr- frankly not to <laughs> to work with you as a project but when mm. you said there were these ideas mm. well, they encourage me to also okay yes. so mm. our students and every module they take whatever level they are master or PhD mm. they have to do project the projects that they have to see change communities and societies mm. and here where we believe that our we are not we are not a normal program that they are going to do only theories and examination and mm-hmm. they are going to graduate. Mm-hmm. And even for us as an academics, the way we write our papers and researches, that it's applied the real data from the research that we change communities, then we approve our theories. It's not just a theory that we write about and we so all our theories came from the field. never applied. Mm-hmm. And the students, we are also teaching our students in the same way. So the way that the program is going to help us, that when we're ha- going to have a students here in Rwanda, they have to apply it in a certain community and solve the real problem, that will prove that our theory is right. Mm. That's a good one. Each course, we have 45 <coughs> courses mm. that we designed ourselves mm-hmm. to track problems, you know, different problems, different level of problems, and bring the, this currency of inspiration mm-hmm. uh, or resilience currency or your currency mm. or even aging what you said now about the aging i have a book now yes. coming up mm. it's called to all of my mother 
mm-hmm. okay, to all of my mother, which mm-hmm. means it's for all my mother when she was in, uh, in her strength. She's a big entrepreneur, mashallah. She did many mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. And in her weakness now, she has a dementia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help her. Mm-hmm. But this is where I'm saying to all of my mother, all now she's aging, you know, in, in yeah, late 70s sure. and so on, mm-hmm. to see things. And I'm saying here, it is like uh, addressing what is the future aging economy will be carrying. Absolutely. And calling for to come back because in you know in our countries, especially the rich you know Gulf countries, they became new class families, living yeah. in big houses, you know palaces, mm-hmm. only with, with the servants. Mm-hmm. So the elderly people they will with time their children will have another their own palace, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. or villas or something like this. Mm-hmm. And they are the the elderly people becoming only served by servants. There is much community cohesion. Yes. yes. Do you have this by the way with time that yeah. nucleus families coming more mm. instead of extended families? And we are saying if we want to manage the aging economy and its benefits, benefits because there is benefits. Mm-hmm. Everything has benefits, you know. Yeah, Every, uh, uh, even now, see Japan, they started now to see the benefits of aging economy. Mm-hmm. The Germany, they started to see the benefits of aging economy and so on. So we believe that we should prepare the, for this from now <laughs> to solve many problems, <laughs> including. <laughs> You know, uh, mm-hmm. changing our attitudes. For example, I, I, I am as a close carer. I mm-hmm. could not come here, or if she, my sister could not come and replace me with my mother. We are not dependent on the servants. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, we are dependent on ours because we know that whatever we are giving her, it is not only to uh, appreciate what she given us, which is we cannot do that mm-hmm. by, by all the means, but also to, uh, to really learn from her. Just sitting with her, we are learning. Even if she's having dementia now, mm-hmm. we still we are learning every day. Sometimes she throw a story here and there, or she, mm-hmm. she says something like, you know, a few words here and there. The amount of learning, you don't imagine how much it is. So I'm saying that uh, there is lots of techniques. Do you I'm, put that into the concept of aging economy? Yes. yes. I'm, I, I, By I'm, sitting with her and hearing her story. Yes, 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 yes. That's part of aging economy. Yes, yes. So storytelling, by the way, storytelling is yes, yes, still a lot of trainings on story storytelling. Telling. Also, yeah. we, we, I mean, our conferences for yes. all carries a workshop for storytelling mm-hmm. because we believe that this break also uh, the barrier of many things, barrier between us and the decision makers, mm-hmm. barrier between us and the community, uh, transforming knowledge, because many things that is uh, really um, you know that we need to solve in, in the world. Uh, if we don't have this humbleness and sometimes humility. We can't change the, the problem. We can't crack the problem if we are, we don't show that we are, and we know how much we are ignorant, not how much we know. Every day, if we don't remember this, and we are looking for, to uh, minimize our ignorance, mm. okay, and we say, oh, I know this, I have seen this. I've seen uh, women, many women, uh, you know, network around the world, I myself. Mm. But uh, wh- because I came here with really um, coming to learn, I learn a lot from you now. Mm. Okay, and this is the way I think mm. that the world should. Uh, yeah, and I think much more of what I think you're learning is also, and I think that's what I like in what I'm hearing from you people, is also the whole idea of contextualizing. Mm. Yes. Uh, we usually receive people from different countries who come for exchange of learnings. Right. And I keep asking them, after I've taken you around the country of what you've seen, what you've learned in the context of Rwanda, they sit back and tell us mm. how you think you can contextualize what we are telling you in your own context. Mm. By sharing with us, we are also learning your context, we are also hearing what you do, and uh, what you would choose to learn from Rwanda. Mm. And I think that way we should remain connected if mm. we are talking about one world, if we are talking about people learning from each other. Exchanges are very important right. because when I get a women's spaces from Nyagatari to go to the north of Musanze, there's a lot of interaction and a lot of <laughs> interesting ideas coming from different regions, you know, within, and they really love it. And when they go back, they try to apply what they have learned from Musanze to the context of Nyagatari in the east. So the exchange of learning yeah. in whatever we do. It's extremely, extremely important. And also, yeah. you know, ma'am, what uh, uh, what we noticed, the people, they don't learn also through only talking. And visiting is one. <coughs> and seeing best practice is one issue. Mm-hmm. Or sharing, uh, I see your best practice, you are doing something like this. I say, oh, 
بات ان يور كلينيك احنا اور كلينكس وار دوينغ سو اند سو واي ار نوت واي ار نوت ميجرينج سو اند سو فور اكزامبل ذس وان تايب اوف ليرنينج سم بيبل دي دونت تيك ات فورورد بات ذا بيست تايب اوف ليرنينج از ذات وي ورك توجذر ابسولوتلي وين وي ورك توجذر اند دو ليتس سي فور اكزامبل ا كول يو سي سم ثينج ذات وي دونت سي اند وي سي سم ثينج ذات وي دونت We don't, you don't see. And these people that is, who's working on the field, they see something that both of us don't see. This, compl- this comprehensive, uh, you know, holistic solution Absolutely. is what makes the real uh, story, success exactly. story, mm-hmm. which is, uh, you know, the whole world might learn from. This is what Absolutely. we want at the end of the day. Absolutely. And then we are creating mm-hmm. positivity of the world, mm-hmm. making people more resilient, mm-hmm. feeling that uh, yani all, the, all the parties are, are uh, collaborating to, to bring new solutions to the mm-hmm. communities. This is the way that we should work. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Yeah. And the importance of bringing the best practice leaders right. into one space to be able to share all that you're sharing yes. is yeah. a fantastic idea. Yes. And so for that, that also, and this that, may be it's something, wonderful. And always we say in inspiration economy, it's all about intention, visualization, and doing. Not too much talking, only yeah. doing. With time, things will show. Showing the models, you know, within two or three years, this is what I did, yani. okay, in my year. Uh, we did money, you know, we don't claim that all our models uh, was successful. Actually, 70% of our models that we created ended with up, but we spent money, we spent efforts, but nothing. But from these failures, we brought the strong ones. Now, we claim is that more than 60, 70% of our models are successful. After coming to seven years now of maturity and so on. Because in the beginning, we were very excited to open many countries and work with many models and so on. But we found out that people are not ready for such. Mm-hmm. Mostly they take the money mm-hmm. and uh, nothing done or misabuse or, you know, exactly. mismanage the... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But if they are into a system that yeah. is already built and has a monitoring mechanism, uh, exactly. which we think it needs... This was the one of the lessons we learned. Yes, yeah. exactly. The lesson is mm-hmm. monitoring, monitoring, monitoring. And weekly money, the poor people, or the weak people, or the vulnerable people, they are not because they are not clever. Maybe sometimes, uh, most of the time, from my experience, mm. they are much more clever than us, Absolutely. according to their environment and so on. Mm. The only difference is that they did not learn how to manage this money, how that's to it. manage their time, exactly. how to manage their yeah. product. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I can why see that, our, that's I, why in our work we struggle so much mm. around mm. grant making, you know, and the monitoring and of course, you know, bookkeeping, yes. training them. Yes. And so community monitors, we want them to ground them there so that they are community monitors who are within, not necessarily at the office level, so yeah. that our field officers can be monitoring and working with the community monitors right. who mm-hmm. really monitor on the expenses. That's where we want to go now. And uh, you know, when, once around. they see that, for example, someone else is caring about not only their income, mm-hmm. but their own level of education, mm-hmm. their children, and so on, <coughs> they start to want to give others. Absolutely. Even the art of giving mm-hmm. starts to be built in their, in their mind. Yeah. And many the of the co-ops I'm telling you, are, are in, um, yeah. I eliminated poverty. Mm-hmm. Yani eliminated, not alleviated. Mm. Eliminate poverty in very difficult situation in Azaytun in, in Mauritania. Absolutely. And this was because the women became convinced that they should mm. open now another co-op, another co-op, another co-op. Mm. And now you can go to a village, complete village, mm. and you can see that each one of these women, uh, I mean the group of these women, mm. how much, and this started mm. all with $500, which is nothing. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. What's good about, about what I'm behind, what I'm listening here, the documentation. Yes. Uh, because uh, without the documentation, today you're here, tomorrow you're gone. Yeah. Today we are here, tomorrow we're gone. Right. But who's going to take up what we have? Yes. And uh, it's mostly difficult when uh, social programs and all soft programs are not uh, documented because it's hard to document uh, social programs. But you can build a house, a village, and you come and count. Yes, I was supposed to build 10 houses. Mm-hmm. These are 10 houses. Mm-hmm. But uh, change of mindset, mm-hmm. change of behavior is what sustains the houses. Mm-hmm. It's sustainable. Uh, yes, you know, sir, uh, 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 more important than the award, which is I work on putting awards like this mm-hmm. and so on, mm-hmm. is you write your own case studies. Mm-hmm. Because this is what's going to sustain forever. The whole world needs to, you know, uh, especially for me now, especially Africa, frankly, even worse than me now, mm-hmm. yani Africa, is like a black spot or a black box for all the researchers around the world. Mm-hmm. And even the researchers that come from the universities here in Africa and 
but there is it's very weak research i mean the case studies are not written by someone very quickly doesn't complete the story doesn't give anybody a knowledge about that mm. so w that would, what will attract any organization to come and collaborate with you mm -hmm. is that your research and development like he's saying mm -hmm. and the case studies you are publishing to the level that it will be educational case study indeed so that's what i'm liking about what yeah. you bring on board yes uh, combining both academic and uh, mm -hmm. program implementation mm -hmm. it's very key mostly because uh, mm -hmm. run -Miss network has been here the last 20 so, 20 so years. Yes. But if you we look for documentation of what has been done, right. it's really minimum. Mm -hmm. But the stories of change are out there. Right. So hopefully. Uh, you, so that you can bring more generations like you, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> yani, mashallah, yani, what mm -hmm. you are doing is a mm -hmm. yeah. mo model for many that's, other. So, that's really you know, uh, many women in your place uh, would have run for uh, money. <laughs> but at the time you spent with us, now it means money. And Absolutely. other people minds it, capital based Some, economy. But in, uh, in our uh, economy, <laughs> our, in our base economy, mm -hmm. this change of mindset. Yeah. And the more we manage to bring people like this, I'm sure we can uh, sustain your coexistence. Uh, you know, we've been going through the genocide mm -hmm. museums in the last, you know, mm -hmm. few days and so on. Uh, to kind of bring uh, many people who will be leading Africa. Because you uh, remember, it's not only a small <coughs> country. Mm -hmm. This whole region is having lots of problems. Yeah. And uh, you know the alienation of others is one of the mindset of this uh, the country. Uh, I mean the regions, mm -hmm. uh, people. So, so they need it, and I don't think the policymakers, mm -hmm. with all the respect, yani, knowing yeah. uh, I've been working with top uh, country leaders yes. around the world, mm -hmm. they can change this. Uh, mm -hmm. No, it cannot be changed. No, it's not it can be changed only through mm -hmm. people who uh, you know be uh, really a belief. Mm -hmm. And this cannot change unless we we start to publish case studies. People see about it and so on. Hopefully, when uh, the collaboration kicks in, yes. I'll, be, I'll be looking forward to, <laughs> towards the documentation. Uh, no, but you can Google from now. If you mm, Google us, I will. yes. No, just get, but for example, if you now put woman, any, mm. just the right woman, and for example, case study Bohiji, my name, you will find it. Or inspiration economy, you find many case studies. I mean, we are talking about hundreds of case studies. Yes. Uh, which is available in, in YouTube as in research gear. You know, our we publish most of our work. In Amazon, mm -hmm. but you put it free also in research gate and so on. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You write women development or women because what we are working on, mm -hmm. yani for example, now Rwanda, mm -hmm. I think they are you are really in representing the African continent and maybe mm -hmm. also the world in many mm -hmm. regions, mm -hmm. and re uh, moving from women empowerment mm -hmm. to women development. Yeah. Okay. The women mm -hmm. are in the. Mm -hmm. Women empowerment means how many women are leaders in university, mm -hmm. and uh, and this is what used Bahrain to be before our national uh, plan. Mm -hmm. Bahrain used to measure mm -hmm. how many women is entrepreneur, how many women are uh, you know in the university teaching faculty or doctor mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. When I came, I said I don't care about this. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I am a man. I don't care about this. Mm -hmm. What I care about always I change people by this you know creating problems. I'm problem maker sometimes. Okay, mm -hmm. so I said okay. What uh, what about uh, women uh, women that is uh, having uh, entrepreneurs, but they don't have family stability. They don't care to take Bahrainis or Rwandans, mm -hmm. and there they they employ people for, for with low uh, you know salaries yes. so that they make more profit. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, considered woman? <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. so, no, it doesn't work for for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's move to call call it women development. The national plan is called now women advancement, mm. which is more than women development. Yes. Women development will be developing and helping in development and so on. Women advancement, no, women are leading the country mm -hmm. to create the change. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what we call them, because they are the majority. Mm -hmm. Majority and the, um, are the same like you, by the way. Mm -hmm. Our women, they are more in uh, public se sector in number. Mm -hmm. They are, uh, but they are unemployed also still high, but still they are leading, I mean, in the education level. They are better than men, mm. but we need to stabilize this. Mm, mm. For example, one of the techniques that we are done, I'm sure here also you have divorce that is increasing, yeah. mm, right? Yeah, yeah, mm, with yeah. all the religions, yeah. okay? In Muslims, some... I know from Muslims, he's Muslim, mm. uh, that it's increasing Muslim. I told him even in Christian, I'm sure there, there yeah, is. They, they, yeah. Why? Because there is gap now. This gap by men, it will not be accepted. Mm. So how we can do this? So we did techniques that people cannot go and divorce directly. 
اوكي الدكتور دنيا از مونيتورينج ذس اند هاو ماتش يو مانيج تو برينج ذا نمبرز يعني فروم 30 سمثينج اراوند 40 ناو وي ار 20% لايك ذا ديفورس ذيس از ا هيوج نمبر اند ايفن ذن ذا ديفورس اولسو هاو تو ميتيجيت ذا ديفورس بروبلم سو ان ستيت اوف يو نو بيكوز ذا تشيلدرن ار اولويز ان ذا ميدل اون ذيس ثينج سو ايفن وي كول ات سيف ديفورس Yes. You call it what? Safe divorce. Safe. Safe. Yes. Safe, safe. Safe divorce. Safe. Yes. How do you do safe divorce? Then let me hear you. Yes. Mm. For example, uh, first we try the divorce not to happen to solve them. But yes. of course, not all That's cases you can do. Oh, just uh, take six months some time. Okay. Yani. But in a case that it will okay. happen, and then we will say there will be like a safe agreement. Because they're always after the divorce before what used to happen. Lots of problems came because who want the uh, children custody, the, who, where they are going to stay, I mean the, uh, the, uh, the payment, who is going to pay Paid. for the kids or like this. So here where they will go in agreement about these things. Mm. So we minimize any problem happen because of the divorce. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, the children education will be in this side because sometimes even the parents, even when they are married, they have always this problem. I want to take my kids to private school. They want to take government school. They want the type of education, yes, yeah. the sectors. So we try to make this agreement to make it a safe divorce. That's and then the avoid to take them to police station. You know, we so used to yes, fight. Yeah. Now they go to social uh, workers. Yeah. They don't go to police station anymore. So then the cases will not go to the court because mm. before, even after the divorce happened in the court, then even every each problem will have a file in the court. Yeah. File for the kids, file for the file for the so And they never get uh, And no. they get nowhere. The kids get close. Uh, psychologically, they will be destroyed. Psychologically, will be destroyed. Mm. Their education is going to be lower. And then, then the, even the government, when they come, the cost it costs much more. <coughs> yeah, that's we have my social idea. workers. We are training in our communities what you are calling alternative dispute resolution. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that we can really guide people to go much more into mediation, which you are saying here. Mm. But I like this safety boss. Mm. Yeah. Safe agreements. Yes. Yes. This is a very good and uh, also to maintain the relation between families because sometimes, you know, it is uh, the, the nucleus family can affect the big family. Mm. You can imagine if they are relatives. In our safe spaces. Yes. You see? Yeah. So any argument around safe, we say safety is also around safe divorce. Mm. Yes. Mm. Because, you know, it's also, it can go bad, you know, uh, to the yeah. level of big family. These families, they start Absolutely. to... Absolutely. To fight together because and so. we always in our countries the marriage it's not between two persons between no. two families yeah. so if the divorce happened not in a safe way even these two families they will conflict. before siege they will have the conflict there mm-hmm. where when you have it in a safer way it will not be like this so the impact uh, this is an inspiring project huh? sister mary <laughs> this is an inspiring project why mm-hmm. because it's not did not only save the family it created harmony within the community Uh, the the it will be down with this. Uh, mm. It will be down with this. It will be down with this. It It is available in my... In my Bahrain, uh, where is this Bahrain? Where is Bahrain? Where is Bahrain? Yeah, yeah, Dubai. Dubai. <laughs> Where are you with Dubai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dubai. You know Dubai. Qatar? You know Qatar? Yes, I've been to Qatar. Uh, yes, Qatar. we are near, near Qatar. But very small island. Uh, maybe uh, smaller than uh, Rwanda also. Much smaller yeah. than Rwanda. Yeah. You will not see it on the map. Mm. You will yeah. see it on the map. Yeah. But they are the Bahrain. What is the population? Bahri- uh, 1.4 now. Million? Million. Yeah. Only 1.4. But half yeah. of them is non- not Bahrainis. I mean, from no, India, no, from. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Ah, so it's a very international. Yes, yes. Like yeah. Dubai. Exactly like Dubai. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, so but you know, uh, we are very. Uh, this thing in YouTube, but yeah, the women were. Yeah, the education of women mm. much more. Like than more other than Gulf countries. Yeah. More than 100 years. Yes. 1928 uh, women voted. For municipality, so you can imagine this, these countries, which is uh, I, I most I lived in these countries. Mm. Uh, mm. They uh, only had in the 1990s the women started to vote. Some of them still today, women does not vote. In our country, in Bahrain, no, no. Bahrain, and other countries, in Bahrain, 1998, we, uh, women, women voted. voted. 
So the advancement of women was logical because it's already be a woman would be because maybe of the leadership too. Tell us yes. the role of leadership of, in that. Yes. Is it, uh, how is your leadership? Are you under King? king. Yes, king. yes, 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 yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. But also, ah. no, the type of environment helped the woman because right. women, men work used to go to the sea and work for three months mm -hmm. where the women were ruling, yani, almost and ruling the country. They were and, home managers. And yeah. managers and entrepreneurs. So this helped the personality of ah. women. And yeah, because China, women. And except many people. Like a tourist, it was the tourist country oh. from the 19, uh, 1928, and as I told you, or 20s. Many people used to come to Bahrain. Mm. It was the richest country that time because there was no petrol that time. Mm. It was the first country they discovered petrol also. Ah, so you have yeah. petrol in Bahrain? Yes, yes. So it's a rich country? It so is uh, less uh, rich than Dubai and uh, Qatar. Okay. But, but the human is richer. middle class. The human part of it. Yes, they invested in uh, the people. Now Bahrain is the poorest country compared to the Gulf countries. Mm. But always I say, women, yours and yours cannot be copied by all the Gulf countries. Because they cannot uh, match the majority of Bahrain. They are ahead of them a lot. Mm. Not because I'm Bahrain, I live most of the Gulf country. I'm mm. living most of my life actually outside Bahrain. Okay. But I can tell you this is from uh, any uh, expert who did projects for the, all mm -hmm. these countries. Mm -hmm. This country is different because of its NGOs. Now, like same Rwanda, NGOs, women, and maybe youth. I'm not sure about you. I didn't see your youth yet. Mm -hmm. yani, frankly, a lot. I've seen only uh, one of the universities I talked to the youth. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm sure that women is creating a success story. So this is where mm -hmm. I think the, the, the richness. This uh, resources are, uh, the, the depleting resources are always going to finish with time. Mm, but this is what going to stay in the Exactly, the that's the sustainability mm, yes, yes. So we want to know how we came to know us. <laughs> yeah. And then you went straight to the Polyclinic of Hope. I know you. You know me where? Well. Eh? I met you in a different meetings. I can't really? remember. What is the name of your organization? Uh, I, I have uh, uh, many places I, I work. Mm -hmm. I work as a deputy mufti. We decided because we search also ourselves. We yeah. told them mm -hmm. we want to see you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, let us come to see. Mm -hmm. That is that is me, and mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the way we met. Wow. Okay. But we are working closely. Yes. We are working okay. Closely. Mm -hmm. But I may network. I know and I have some courses with you. I my research in uh, master's uh, program in uh, community development mm -hmm. and uh, non government organizations mm -hmm. uh, option. I I worked on. Uh, impact of NGOs in uh, women uh, women uh, uh, empowerment. Okay. Yes. Oh, great. Okay. And I worked with uh, with one in uh, ProFarm. Yes. Uh, Our uh, organization. Yeah, I, I worked also with Edward in uh, um, uh, Orange it and so on. It is not non obligatory non financial ideas that we uh, collaborate mm -hmm. to do more project and services and share, and including the case studies and so on. That's number one. Uh, we signed, uh, uh, mashallah, hundreds of NOU around the world. I hope that this is uh, practical also, because mm -hmm. many MOUs are signed but never been mm -hmm. functional, like many uh, yeah. other NGOs. Yes, we are very practical, mm -hmm. and you can always reach us and so on. Mm -hmm. And whatever I told you about the case studies, all of them I'll send you. So that you see, uh, I mean, have a link of uh, all the case studies with the, uh, both mm -hmm. the publication yes. and the video link. Because mostly we, we do what we are doing now, take things in video, very simple approach and so on. Including the ones we did, yeah, we are, we're going to do or we did in Rwanda and so on. Mm -hmm. That's one issue. Second thing, I think we should uh, yeah, plan to do maybe a one co-op together, mm -hmm. addressing specific issue relevant to women uh, poverty or uh, you know, uh, improving women empower, um, empowerment, improving maybe something, maybe I'm not sure if you're having a production cells that they produce products, like, you know, art. It's, uh, it's uh, very low stage. Yes, Still okay. At the very low stage. Yes, so this is also something we can work together to improve, mm -hmm. to make it higher end product. That's what we do also. Mm -hmm. We improve the production stage and so on with minimal invest mm -hmm. investment, as I told you. We don't usually invest every one step uh, except $300 to $500. But we make sure, and this will uh, be valued like more than 
30,000 dollar because the way we are approaching the thing. It's not about how, always we say it's not about how much we do, we do it's about the way we do it. The way we uh, do the things and approach it is different. Uh, and then we share the, also the best practices. We are uh, planning for a forum. I was telling uh, Sheikh Amar whether this university thing work or not. We hope it will work. And we have, I mean, we are planning to have either our own university or collaborate with the Kigali or or. Let's it's, see, uh, 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 United Okay, yeah, that's a good. Already we spoke to them. Yeah. Uh, they have some yeah, we, interest. We are meeting today. Uh, we're meeting. Studies in uh, uh, economic college. Okay. We met, I mean, we met the vice chancellor uh, okay. last last week. Mm -hmm. uh, if it didn't work, then we'll start to think about our own university. Okay. We are planning either to do it in uh, Addis Ababa or here. <coughs> okay. We want this place where is uh, you know that can attract many people who speaking English language mm -hmm. uh, from Africa, especially in MENA mm -hmm. countries in general. Mm -hmm. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we are planning to do a forum. Mm -hmm. uh, forum, which we bring experts around <laughs> the world. This is our what this what called forum. It's different than our conferences. Mm. This forum is uh, usually uh, divided. Uh, it's for three to five days, mm. and usually it is divided to two half every day. First morning is about uh, it's usually in the classroom or I mean the hotel or the workshop, and the ha second half it will be visiting best practices. And so on, mm. and this is where are popular on that. We've been doing more than. That fifth. makes a lot of sense. You are really yes. community based. Eh? Yes, mm. wow. and the expert that come, mm. they are the uh, ones who established with us even the first uh, seats. You know, in two thousand fifteen, mm. from all F uh, or European countries, from America, from China. Let from me ask you. Yes. How do you, out of this forum? Yes. How do you then drive this? At the global level, right? Because we need to think about bringing best practices, community drivers, right. and eventually, with the purpose of coming at the global level, to be really be able to make a case, yes, of what we think needs to change, right? So what we so do, anyway, we since uh, since I've been working, as I told, most of my life as expert for government, I sign usually with prime minister and so on. Uh -huh. I'm avoiding to bring anything from top down. Yeah. I've been yes. avoiding uh, Frank, with all the respect and <coughs> United Nations and these mm, kind yeah, of big sure. organizations. Sure. Because I feel bureaucracy and talking too much. Mm. <laughs> what you are doing in the mm. forums, mm. after the forum or before the forum, mm. and ev yani every uh, actually three months, mm. we have a publication of an uh, international journal. So we publish two journals. Mm. Or maybe you can Google them, which is uh, the International Journal and of Inspiration Economy. And uh, also the other one is Youth Economy. Journal. Uh, these journals it's are. What do you the, uh, the publication? International uh, Journal of uh -huh. Inspiration Economy and. Okay. Uh, and the other one is youth economy. economy. The other one is youth economy and resilience. Ah, okay, okay. youth. Yeah, youth you can't put journal of youth economy, so we find it. So we are the unique ones because we publish the cases like relevant to these ones with, based on the intrinsic power. Mm. Many people who will uh, come to the forum, uh, actually after the forum, mm -hmm. they will publish case studies or something about that, whatever they've seen here, mm -hmm. or whatever they they uh, propose to do more, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm. Uh, beside, uh, we have uh, lots of, uh, again, workshops that is run. So when they come here, mm -hmm. for example, we are mm -hmm. uh, the founder of the largest uh, network of what's called self-sufficiency network. It's a huge network from mm -hmm. yani, all over the world. We public, we started this network in during Corona, in the beginning of 2020. Mm -hmm. And now it's a huge network. They were doing many projects around the world about emphasizing self-sufficiency only. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there is other network that is uh, <coughs> relevant to uh, poverty elimination. Mm -hmm. Where the uh, United Nations, even though I don't believe in United Nations approaches, but we are the working one of the working group uh, founders of poverty elimination group. Called mm, WG I think I've come across that. Right? Yeah, I can send you if you want to join, and you are welcome. Mm. Both networks are open for joining for uh, from any country. Mm. So we hope, inshallah, uh, through this uh, MOU and yeah. through the uh, you know the good intention, <coughs> we start something practical. Mm. We're hoping that uh, already I started COPS and uh, when I visited. Uh, last yeah, yeah, directly, I'm very practical. Yeah, yes, yeah. I said I don't. You I will not leave you guys. 
No, that was we starting from another we organization. No, we went there mm -hmm. as, a, as a practical meeting with the, the community. With the local authorities there? With, uh, with, no, the, yeah, no, with, the, with the community. <coughs> with the community immediately. Mm -hmm. But these are organizations you knew there? Hmm? It's organizations that you no, knew there? No, Muslim area, Muslim ah, leaders. Muslim yeah, leaders. Yeah, we organized as Muslim okay. leaders. The mufti. It was, a, it was a, a visit from okay. Mufti to, to the district. Yeah, so we, went there, we went there as as a workshop to meet people and they educate them and uh, but uh, uh, immediately it becomes as a practical idea not the uh, right. only, only theory yes. i didn't want so to tell them something without the cops and okay, let's stop the cops now mm. so that's the way they came up with uh, uh, some cooperative or groups mm. immediately uh, giving an idea and now we are in practice with them how they can start and move they are very inspired. You so we did what, also co ops even what, for our students. <coughs> you know one of our experiences around cooperatives? Well, I'll give an example around the Katsibo. We have had, um, we do what you call governance focal points because we, we talk so much about holding local authorities accountable. Mm -hmm. Here we have a very popular program where mayors uh, commit themselves to the head of state mm -hmm. on what they are going to deliver. Mm -hmm. So our program of around governance and leadership is helping citizens to know what their mayor mm. has actually committed to do. And we collaborate with local leaders to make sure that it, they allow us to go and bring Follow such them. a program to the local communities. So we've been there doing that governance and uh, mm. accountability This works program. only Rwanda. Mm. Yeah? Doesn't work any country in Africa except Rwanda because mm. you are more transparent. Mm. Yes, in okay. Africa it doesn't work. Yes, for that time, so in other countries, <coughs> okay. so uh, we use uh, mostly, a mostly corrupted government, so no mm. use to mm. waste. So in okay. Rwanda, we use what we call community scorecard. Mm. So we always score, we teach communities to score what works best in the health system for you, what doesn't work best, mm. and how do we advocate the same thing and then bringing it down, interfacing communities with mayors mm. to be able to really show them what works and what doesn't work. So in that whole process, before we can live in a district, mm. we have to create a cooperative. Mm. And these, I think, are areas that should interest us. Yes. Our cooperatives of governance, we call them governance focal points uh, advocates, mm. or cooperatives, or women safe spaces cooperatives. Mm. So they're already meeting somewhere, they have already, so we are going through a process of training them on bookkeeping, on finance management, on what, but we are at a level where we are saying, now nah, we need to start to trigger them. Mm -hmm. So, because we haven't found that trigger yet, we encourage them to say, how much can each one of you as a cooperative put down in your cooperative? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we, most of them we settle, some of them we settle on 500 francs. Mm -hmm. We said, fine, this is what you can afford. But let's continue to talk about what are you going to do when this money has become mm -hmm. so that the community can continue to keep active. So <clears throat> in this ideas I'm learning from you, the trigger and inspirational mm -hmm. that one brings to such organized set groups is amazing. And the corps is the safest way, from <coughs> my experience. So and then the conflicts. different models. Mm -hmm. The corps is the safest because the more we collect women. And the more <coughs> above 15 is better also. Yeah. Because uh, here, if someone goes out, someone uh, have abused something or something, still the cop can survive. Still you can correct the cop. Mm. For that now, I always try to push towards cop. Mm. And we, uh, the monitoring for the cop, uh, especially in the first, uh, you know, stage, we call it s -curve, you know, techniques. Mm. The first stage, like the first three months, it will make a difference in the journey of the cop. Mm. Many of these cops, uh, they started to, change their uh, family status you know i mean in uh, mm. mostly in mauritania mm. they are, they don't have shelter proper shelter mm -mm. they end up to have houses and so on i mean in short i'm talking about two years right so this is i think very important that uh, maybe should yeah be and the one thing we have tried to integrate in there is uh, conflict management skills mm. so that in their conflict management skills they are able to know how to deal com with the conflicts early enough, even the early warning. Mm. Yes. We say, as you being elected the leader of this COP, mm. 
because mm. we always have there a president, a vice, and then a secretary, mm. who becomes also finance, mm. to make sure that there is, we are able to, to curb uh, conflicts early enough, mm. so that we, are, we, we, we don't end up being seen as people who have come together and yet we are not making progress. Mm. So this whole training is very important to build on it, and, uh, and then to establish a monitoring mechanism, because there's one project only that managed helps us to accompany us in just in one cooperative in Gatsibo. Mm. But we found that to be extremely, <coughs> extremely important. Yes. Mm. But you know, I, 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 but I will tell you, <coughs> after, praising tell you me. Yeah. after praising you so much, and you are really yeah, and you are an expert for us and so on, and we're learning from you, mm. I will tell you whatever I told him and his uh, organization, Al Amal, yes. which they are doing a great job again with the military care and so on. Mm. Related, uh, related care, mm. uh, but uh, I told them what, what is it? this palliative, it's very important. Yeah. It's very important in the community. Mm. Okay. I know we, we are going I to told them I, I, I am as expert on what, in doing change. Always I look for numbers. Mm. We have formulas for change. Mm. And one of the formulas we call it availability multiplied by efficiency multiplied by effectiveness. If you don't have a specific number, <coughs> what you'll end up doing, always service, 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 and you're running, 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 like a running and a treadmill. <laughs> but you are not seeing the outcome in uh, I mean, not you are celebrating and you are getting awards. This means they are, yeah. But what are your numbers? How many, for example, women, after they came with you, their profit margin became better. Mm -hmm. They became more stable in their family. Their uh, children has gone to education. Do you have these numbers? Uh, this is where... Uh, Will what be interesting to work with you. Okay. <laughs> now, hold on there. Yes. I won't sign an MOU with you. Yes. If you are not going to help us to know how to document ourselves. Yes. We were, yes this is our you are saying. <laughs> this is, uh, she's the expert, by the way. Then she better, yeah. she better come and throw us into this <laughs> yes, thing of yes. document. I was telling him, look for us. Uh, I was telling him. <clears throat> we stayed in Bosnia. I wanted to Google this one. Mm. For Nahla. In a no, Nahla means, no, Nahla no. means, you know, uh, uh, bees, 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 Nahla, bees, mm. This Nahla, N A H A H L A. Okay, these are uh, women, same as like you are doing, but they work with women, <coughs> with women uh, entrepreneurship also. Mm. Okay. They prepare women for to be leaders in the community. Right. In Balkan in Bosnia. This is a Bosnian case that. Uh, Ah, we studied, and, yeah, we okay. stayed six months in Bosnia. Oh, interesting. So Bosnia we're willing to come and, and work with you because we'll learn from you more than you learn from us. I'm a good <laughs> learner, by the way. Okay, I capture very good. Uh, but learning. we're also learning things yeah. here. Huh? Yes. Yeah. When we finish, we see. Yeah, I mean, I was telling him you cannot reach even for uh, his community and so on. I told him you cannot reach a level of realization. Okay, if you don't know how much you are ignorant about what you are doing. And your uh, ignorance will start the humility <coughs> by numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I have done, how many numbers, I, how many women, I'm sure your legacy is very large. But we need to uh, bring it with numbers. Uh, the case study needs numbers. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we need to uh, really uh, file these things, you know, each one, how many, the, when you started the co op, how many of them uh, was uh, having one dollar, two dollar. Now we came to three dollars. So now they are came out of uh, poverty. Mm. They could afford to put two meals. <coughs> mm. You know, many of them, when they start with them, they cannot put even one meal on the table. Now they are putting two meals, they built their house, mm. they've taken two of their children. Let's say she has seven children. Yeah. You know, in, in African Muslim countries, they have many children. children. And the uh, husband so usually deserves them. Stories. Especially if they don't bring the boys. This one. Yes. Mm. So this is what we are writing. And this is what our case studies are having high citation. Yeah, I'm telling you one of our case studies. It's got more than 56,000 so far mm. reading it in uh, ResearchGate. <coughs> it shows and the people are in, uh, really in need of such uh, case studies. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Excuse? We use the ID to identify. Okay. Just put the ID inside the form. And you can see that the person has paid or no, or not paid. Okay. So if, if a person, and everyone have a insurance? Mostly, yeah. But if, uh, if she don't... Uh, uh, then you pay 100%. 
Ah, pay 100 pounds. Yes. Oh. So we have our main But why they, well, they would come to you, not to the health center? This is the health center. Ah, this is the health center, yes. considered by the government? Yes, we have an MOU with the Ministry of Health. Okay, okay. So they provide some, some uh, facilities. Yes, but uh, not only facilities, uh -huh. but they also provide staff. They okay. pay for some staff here. Okay. And we also pay for some staff. So it's okay. a win win situation. Okay, so but uh, for you to monitor the women's uh, health, this is what is the purpose, right? Yeah. Okay. Basically, it was primarily set up here because we wanted to, to support women who are HIV victims right. at the genocide of institutions. Right. That's what we began with. Right. So as we grew, yeah. we continued to provide other services, hence right. the MOE with the ministry. Right. Yeah. So most of our projects are set up here. Right. That's where we work from. And uh, this side is for the health center. Okay. You can pass here. There is no uh, workshop, I mean, I mean, uh, sorry, with the women uh, co-ops or something, not in this place, right? Uh, no, not here. It's not a laboratory, here. Okay. and small surgery, yeah. and the loose, mm -hmm. and the HIV care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inside here. Okay. This is where they also do the stove making. They do the handicraft making. That's it. There. Yeah, that, that is what we want to see. Yeah. Mm. We are going there. We do offer for food supplements for malnourished children. Okay. And we also provide some counseling here. And uh, uh, psychological counseling, yes, counseling relevant to violence or health, health related issues, everything. Because, because we have a mental health expert here. Right. And uh, we also provide sexual productive health services, right. family planning services here. Okay. Uh, this is where they meet sometimes, mm -hmm. but I think these are the community health workers inside here. They're having okay. a monthly meeting. Okay. Together with them. So they are I'm like your they are, they are, they are rep representatives for you and the in communities. The community. Yes. But uh, the whole country has community health workers. We have three community health workers per village. So mm. they do. Why not to see those things? Yeah, we are going to go. Mm. I'm just try not to enter before I tell them that we want yes. to capture video. Sure, sure. Mm. We need to. Yes, uh, take Six permission. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Then again, brother. Well, uh, women in, in our in our cooperatives yes. do use spare parts, right. take spare parts, and right. put them together yes. to form this fuel efficient looking stove. Right. It you it uses eighty. It saves eighty percent of firewood being used. Uh -huh. So the firewood is put inside here. Right. And specifically firewood, not charcoal. Mm. And then uh, we have, depending on the size of your pot, mm. we have two rings. Mm. So we have a, a bigger ring and mm. a smaller ring. Mm. If you have a big pot, then you put a, a, a bigger ring. If you have mm. a small pot, you put a small ring. And this is you sell it, or you they sell it, or we, they give it. Uh, it is we part. provide the spare parts, and these women sell it. Sell it okay. at a subsidized price. Okay. So if you're done with cooking, you just mm. pick it up and then you go okay. and sell. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the day, uh, if you want to store your food for more than six hours, mm. because some women don't have time to care for their children mm. and go outside again. Yes. It is put inside here. Mm. Uh. Yeah. So it goes yeah. inside here. Yes. And it's, it can be there for about uh, six hours. Okay. Put inside here. So no need to cook, again reheat no again. Reheat. Yes. A woman can cook the food in the morning mm -hmm. and then goes to do some other income activity. Mm -hmm. And then the child can come from school, say at noon. They can yes, directly. Directly, yes. Uh -huh. And goes back to school. Nice. So no further heating. And I think even the This is your name? Ice. It's very slow. Yes. Yeah. The, this one, the, your, is the name you given it or the, the, the it's company? It's yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it helps them to save time for themselves mm. and future. Mm. So this is a brochure that okay. has everything that I've just mentioned okay, nice. inside. Yeah. Okay. And you can read great, it. Great, great. If you type in save 80 online, you can okay. see oh, the details. Yeah. Mm. And uh, okay. سيدي ان شاء الله يقدم لان المرض الطبخ الصحي بترجع بهر ما في وقت بتحطه في ذيذي بالفلين خفيف 
يحافظ على الحرارة اللي لست ساعات عشان لما يأكلون طبعا عندهم مكاين ما مكاين وصوف ويدشون مناقصات يعني مثلا يدشون يدشون مناقصات مع المدارس انه يخيطون جاكتات حق مدرسة كاملة وهم يعلمونهم هاي المهارات هم وراي بس يعني عشان للس This is also but the cooperative is yours, no? No, no, no. It's theirs. theirs. We help them to set up. Okay. Provide financial justice training. Okay. And then. But you don't have any return, and you don't take, for example, ten no. percent for no, management. No, no, no. no, we don't. We so don't. what? How you uh, gonna? I mean, how you? Are, how you are sustaining yourself? Well, because in Rwanda, the cooperatives have uh, have uh, bylaws that they are supposed to follow. Mm -hmm. So we empower them to follow those bylaws and build up to. No. Okay, but I'm worried about you, not about them. <laughs> for us, as in Geo, what? What's your income from? Uh, How you make grant making? Huh? Grant making. Grant, huh? Yeah, getting grants. Grant. Okay. And then we use the grants to empower women, and then the okay. women can, can continue for themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we were to be doing retainers, we try to provide kickstarting funding, say one million per cooperative, and then they do provide at least an interest rate of one percent. That one percent is reinvested in another cooperative. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's most, most Our approach is different. Uh, we work for sustainability, mm -hmm. and we believe that you should get 10% uh, called management for management. That's uh, something that is for uh, help you to open more and also manage your people and your staff instead of waiting for grants. Because usually grants are not sustainable. They can continue because they already have what they do. We, at times, if we don't we'll provide the grant to mm. them or mm. the in startup income, mm. we provide facilities. So we buy like these ones and then we open the space for them. Mm. So they can keep on. If grants can help you, but uh, for sure it's not always sustainable. guaranteed sustainable. Yeah. That's where, uh, and this is maybe I'll, I'll so we can discuss. From that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, this is also used as a, as a, as a training for area. We have more training sessions. Can have theater here or something. Yes. Huh? So we yes. are going to set up, we recently received a, a, a screen here mm. that we were using for further education. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. And uh, we are planning to build a maternity ward outside here. Okay. Please. Okay. We can uh, we, we, can we take a video for them or no? That is, this is what they produce. Okay. Oh, this one Rwandan? Made in Rwanda? Mm. No, huh? no. They, they, they buy them like this. They I know from, is it from Rwanda or no, the no. wool? Come from outside, huh? Yes. Outside. Mm.